we've gotten a lot of emails about this black magic sluice uh, drop type sluice uh, we, we've got a small video on YouTube about it so a lot of people have emailed about how to set this up as a high banker so we're going to show you how to set it up as a high banker and as before this is a trout sluice and you can use it flat in the creek or use it as a high banker so now we're going to hook this up to the sluice this is called a manifold this is your manifold that will be hooking inside this there's three tubes inside here so this comes here and this just presses into here and sometimes it's a little aggravating is to that that lays in here this tube will go under here but we're doing this for to speed it up and this will just slide right in here and there's your spray bar here with holes in it so so you're blowing water through this material underneath and on the top side and it creates a eddy or a vortex and knocks your gold down inside this trap so you'll recover more fine gold with this. So we're ready to hook up to a hose pipe and that's it. We've got a control valve over here so we can regulate our pressure any way we want to. Okay, we're gonna show you how we're gonna process a little bit of material for you. Our spray bars, since we're doing this in the winter time, some of these holes are stopped up so we're not we don't have a good force but it'll show you how it operates the more pressure you have the better it operates usually this is hooked up at the creek with a one and a half two horsepower motor with a pump or run it straight off your dredge and you'll have plenty of pressure so you got a lot of pressure you can feed this real fast so we got low pressure here and you can still see it goes out fairly fast so this you got more pressure as soon as that disappears you can come back with another one so like I said we got water going through here from underneath here so it's they're meeting right here and knocking your gold down whereas a lot of sluices see it just goes straight on through so we're we're slowing it down right in here, and that's the reason we can capture more fine gold. And then after you run a lot of material, you can just put your fingers in right here, and if you've got it overloaded, you can fill the material up here to the top of this ledge in there. If you feel it up to that ledge, then just let it run for a few minutes, and then you're ready to go again. A lot of people have asked, emailed us about this grizzly, about it getting clogged up with the certain size rocks. And what you see here is no problem, but you can go for several hours. But if, if I do have a, a lot lodge up, then you can just take your spoon or a stick. You do not have to keep this grizzly clean. It actually helps you if there's some rocks in here. It'll just knock, slow that material down so it'll drop out in your trap here. So I'll leave the rocks in there until it just gets totally packed but that is very rare so the rocks will not hurt it a lot of people want to know if, if we do have low water will this still work yes it will work but you may get some rocks like this to build up here so if, if we're running good water through here we don't even have to clean these off but if these build up on low pressure or low volume of water then all we got to do is every now and then we'll just scrape those off which is Still 10 times quicker than having to classify through a through a screen and, and put through the other sluices. So yes, this will work with low water, it's just a little bit slower. And a lot of people ask us what if we only had to buy one sluice, we couldn't buy but one sluice box, what would we buy? Personally, I would buy this. This type of sluice is black magic because of the 
two flows of water I have, I can plus I can shovel straight into this sluice without classifying big rocks as long as I got good water flow, and I can shovel up to 50 shovel put 50 shovelfuls in here before you classify and do 10 or 15 shovelfuls. And then if, if I got a big bill up here, I can just rake it out, whereas you can't do that in other sluices. So I can process 50 shovelfuls to your 10 or 15, usually. And the only, you just got to have good water flow for it to work that fast. So this will collect more fine gold than any of the other sluices. I don't care what anybody says. I've gone through these, I've got six or eight sluices, and I always use this one. The others are for sale. So, this is my preference right here. This is a typical gold trap dredge. It, uh, the basic principle is water is forced through the tubes into the venturi, acts, acts as a suction, pulls material into the, uh, the front end, and blows it out the back. Typically, it's got to be used underwater. You need to have it you know, completely covered with water for it to work properly. You grab it by the handles, hold it like this, and you can move it this way side to side. You can move it up and down slightly, and you can roll it a little bit, but you can't, you can't go around a rock with it. That's one of the, the downsides of this type of uh, dredge. It's good for moving mass quantities of uh, sand and rock uh, in a straight line when you're going up a creek. This is um, really, a, this is a five inch dredge. The opening here is five inches and it's equivalent to a, a five inch dredge that you'd have on pontoons in a creek. One of the benefits of this one though is if you're in an area that's restricted that uh, doesn't allow five inch dredges, this piece can be, can be disassembled and you can put a four inch piece in as a replacement and you'd have a four inch dredge. So that's one of the, uh, the nice things about this particular uh, piece of equipment. As we told you earlier, this is a five inch dredge. We got a five inch nozzle on here. So when you take this off and put your four inch nozzle on there, you have a crevice tool. So all this, you got the four inch nozzle here. This will just slide in there just like that. And just the suction will, will hold it in there. You don't have to clamp it or anything. So that'll go inside your other nozzle. So there's your crevice tool as an accessory. The other accessory on the the dredge, I call it a sluice a while ago, but it's a dredge. Normally we leave this gasket on the back here, so if, here's your nugget trap, so all you'll do is just slide that into the gasket, or coupler, whatever you want to call it, and tighten her down, and there's your nugget trap. So anything bigger than three quarters of an inch, it's going to be caught right here on, the, on your nugget trap. This is just an inside shot of what the, uh, the, the gold trap dredge looks like from the back end. This is a shot from the uh, front of the tube uh, looking toward the back. Okay, this is uh, how you uh, clean out the... Uh, the uh, uh, the, the drop trap dredge. It has a skid plate here on the back. You just loosen the nuts up. You don't have to take them all the way off because there's a uh, there's a rubber gasket plug. There's two of them in here attached to the thread, so you just want to leave that on. But you just take it and, and pull it out. Hopefully it comes out. If not, a little persuasion. one of them. Maybe not the most efficient design there's, there, there is. That's the, uh, the rubber grommets that hold it uh, inside. Keep, keep keeps everything in and keeps it from, from uh, 
uh, spilling out while you're operating the equipment. Now you have these two, uh, oh, about an inch and a half diameter holes in it. And this is where your black sand is moved down into, with hopefully with some gold in it. And to clean it out, you, uh, you would have a bucket similar to this. You would lift it in and then shake it. Not the most efficient way, I don't think, but this is the only way you can get it out. As you can see in the bottom, we've got most of the sand out of it. And then you just, uh, to put it back, you just repeat the operation by just by uh, uh, replacing the plugs and tightening them down. So uh, that's how you clean out the uh, gold trap dredge. Well, we're glad you joined us today. I hope we gave you a little information on the drop top sluice and the dredge here. If you have any more questions, just email us and we'll try to get you an answer. Thanks for being with us. And happy gold nugget hunting.